Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another video by Red Tits and Wrenches and today I'm going to go quickly over how you can tell if your car's got a broken timing belt, okay? So, first thing we're going to do is actually crank the vehicle and, you know, if it's your belt is completely gone, it's going to be real evident really quickly that it's, uh, it's not intact because uh, your engine is going to spin really fast and you're not gonna, it's not going to have compression because your valves are bent and they're open and air escaping in and out of your uh, your compression chamber so and basically all your starter is turning your is your crankshaft and uh, it's gonna go really quickly and you're gonna be able to tell but uh, here's how it sounds like okay and there you have it that's how it sounds did you see uh, I'm sure you guys were able to tell how, how it was spinning fast and it was basically freewheeling but uh, if you're still unsure and you have someone with you, you can just always have them crank the engine and just you open up the oil cap and on this car, this valve cover uh, comes with this uh, plastic piece that you can't really look at the, your, your camshaft, but if on your vehicle you can look at the camshaft through the oil cap and you have someone cranking the engine and the camshaft is not turning, then that means obviously your timing belt is not intact. Uh, what all you can do is... Uh, also open up basically take off your upper timing belt cover on this car let's help no oh, i'll get that later but anyway uh yeah there you go there you have it uh, there's no timing belt here <laughs> and that's conclusive evidence that your timing belt is not intact and if you have an interference engine which more most cars do you are probably looking at at the very least bent valves okay now on the other hand, if you suspect your timing belt might have skipped, what you'll have to do is basically line up your timing marks and check them. And if you do suspect that your timing belt might have skipped, then you don't want to drive the car. You want to keep uh, cranking the vehicle to the bare minimum, you know, because you know if you might be lucky and might have skipped like just the one or two teeth and uh, on, on the belt, and you might be able to just uh, replace the belt and not have to rebuild the cylinder head. Okay. So, so yeah, this is all why you need to replace that timing belt on time. And, uh, yeah, save yourself a lot of headache. All right, so, yeah, I hope this video helps people out there. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and leave any comments, suggestions below, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.